Hello everyone, please come to the pitch stage to hear the pitch from Cardio Bits. Good afternoon, my name is Hannah and this is Pilar and we are representing the Carry Bits team of KU Leuven. We will give you a short overview about our biosensor and we are going to explain how we will bring our product to the market. So, what do we offer? Our general offer is a portable device for anti-proBNP detection in plasma coupled with a personalized service. But this we will explain later. So, First, let's take a look at our team. Our team consists of nine students with different backgrounds. We have been working in three different subgroups. The bioassay team, the transducer and signal processing team. Each focusing on another topic of our device. The bioassay team was focused on all the biology for capturing the target molecule. The transducer team was responsible for the device, a design of our device, and further, the signal processing team converted our signal into an interpretable value. So what did we actually achieve? We created a biosensor which uses a blood droplet of plasma or blood um, to de detect clinically relevant concentrations within six minutes, which means that we are actually able to detect acute heart failure. Therefore, we are using a two-step assay with a simple rotating system that we completely designed and 3D printed ourselves. This is necessary to switch in between steps. Before measuring a patient's sample, we are first doing a pre-dilution, but we are currently optimizing our assay to make it faster with a one step and no dilution. Our target group is the elderly population, and now Pilar will tell you something more about our principle and our future plans. So how are we detecting our target? We use fiber optic SPR, which means surface plasma resonance. But how this works exactly? So we have a source of light, like it's a normal light, which sends the light within the fiber, and it's guided inside by internal reflection. Hence, on the other, I mean, you can see it on the figure. OK. So on the other side of the fiber, we have a gold-coated surface. And we have functionalized antibodies on the top. Those antibodies, they are going to grab out our targets in the surrounding matrix, which is plasma. Hence, we detect a change in the mass, which is translated into a shift in the reflected light. That is our signal. But since we, our target is quite small, we need gold nanoparticles with functionalized antibodies to gain some weight on the fiber and hence amplify the signal. So why do we need a biosensor? As you might know, the elderly population is growing worldwide. And in addition, they are a high risk population for heart failure. On the top of that, heart failure diagnosis often comes late and the first symptoms are uncovered and they are linked with age. So here is where CardioBeat comes in. We would like to achieve a sooner diagnosis and we would like to perform a blood test on our device in our lab. Then the general practitioner could collect this information and adjust in a personalized manner for each patient the suitable medication together with some nutritional and physical activity aspects. So the next step we'd like to do is bring in our device into elderly care facilities. And then we would like to offer a quick and on-site follow-up. But we also like to target a broader um, public. So on that aspect, we are working right now on a miniaturized smartphone case-based device, which integrates are easy to use and disposable cartridge. And along with this, we are developing an app which can be used with, for the general practitioners to send the results to them. So in that way, we can offer a comprehensive system to monitor and prevent heart failure. Thanks for your attention. Are there any questions for this team? 
Okay, then thanks once again. <laughs>